Happy 4th of July party, people. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about how American I am, and I guarantee you I'm more American than you. How do I know? I've got a definitive, absolutely undebatable quiz that we're going to take together. You can check out the link in the description if you want to do it with me. Otherwise, let's jump right in. This is a BuzzFeed quiz, and I have never seen it before, and I'm going to start off with reading it to you. Your answers to these 15 questions will reveal what percent American you are. Do you really bleed red? White and blue by Yasmin Sugnanen. Fitting. Melting pot of America. Do you talk loudly in public? I talk loudly in general. So why would I get quiet in public? <laughs> Do you wait to be seated at a restaurant? I mean, uh, if the sign says wait, yeah, I wait. But I think that they're trying to put out that Americans are rude and I'm not a fan of that. Do you take advantage of free refills? <laughs> yes. Do you make small talk with store employees? Um, who doesn't? It's rude if you don't. It's rude if you don't. Do you talk to random strangers? Yes. Yes. Hi, howdy. How you doing today? God bless you. God bless America. Thank you for your service, sir. Especially if I see the veteran hat. Heck yeah, I'm saying thank you for your service because I love Americans. Do you smile at the Do you smile at the people you pass on the street? Yeah. Share the love of Jesus. Give it a smile. It's easy. Are you sometimes overly polite? Um no, no, I'm not. I'll be honest. Um, sometimes I got a resting jerk face. Do you think you smile too much? No, I don't smile too much. I smile the right amount of smiles. Do you own a ton of baseball caps? I collect baseball caps. I love baseball caps. I wear them all the time because I'm losing my hair. So yeah, yes, I do. Do you tip when you eat out? Yes. Do you add ice to almost everything you drink? Uh, my wife does. No, I don't. Do you sometimes go to the store late at night? How, do, how, how, how does that describe if you're American or not? Yes, I do. Do you love wearing sneakers? Um, do I love wearing sneakers? This must be like American in general, not anything to do with country American, which is maybe a different thing. Um, I should do a quiz about being country next. That's what I should do. Do you love wearing sneakers? No, not really. Do you take your coffee slash tea to go? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you sometimes wear pajama pants in public? No, I don't. I wear blue jeans. I wear blue jean shorts, but I don't wear pajama pants in public. What? You got 70.60% American. Either you're a local who just doesn't partake in all of our strange habits, or you're a frequent visitor who's starting to pick up on new things. Nevertheless, you're pretty American. I'm not going to lie to you, BuzzFeed. Here's the deal. I, I, <laughs> I didn't do the quiz before. I, I don't know if this satiates or satisfies my American quiz desires. Let's find uh, another American quiz. Quiz number two from brainfall.com if you want to do this one. How American are you? What are you most thankful for on Thanksgiving Day? Freedom. Family. Fam Dang it. Family. I am more thankful for family. The metric system, <laughs> the metric system sure does suck, doesn't it? Uh, yes, it does. Angels and pounds, baby! Yay, yay! Uh, which American hero do you most identify with? Washington, Franklin, Lincoln? I'm gonna go Martin Luther King, because I am a dreamer. I am a dreamer. I love all people. Which do you believe should be emphasized more in the American education system? Critical thinking, business skills, conserv conserv conservationism? Influence on other cultures, God and country. As a Christian, I want to say God and country. I also want to say critical thinking. Th those two are my top two, faux show. Probably God and country, because I think kids would be, uh, it'd be good for kids to know Jesus loves them, you know? What does the phrase, the pursuit of happiness mean to you? Building a home and family, building a business, creating a better world for everyone, expressing myself. Man, I I'm going to go with better world for everyone. I think that what we do should affect everyone around us in a positive way. If this video is affecting you in a positive way, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Do all the things to help me grow. If you don't, then it's proven statistically you're not an American. Who saved France's zoop back in World War II? America. I don't even know, but I'm saying America because I love this country. Which environment is most suitable for raising kids? Urban. Grow up tough. Suburban. For safety. Rural. Feel connected to nature. Small town, feel connected to people. Rural, you gotta feel connected to nature, baby. That's American. What's the best part of America's most popular unofficial holiday, the Super Bowl? 
the friends, family, and alcohol, commercials, games. I think sports are a waste of our precious time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not a huge athlete, but I do enjoy uh, the Super Bowl because I get to connect with friends and family and partake in other things. Which of the following would you consider America's greatest strength? Our natural resources, our multiculturalism, our economy, our constitutions, our tradition. I, I think our constitution... Honestly, I think it's pretty strong. I hope we keep it strong. The sound of multiple languages being spoken in an international metropolis like Washington, D.C. is. I've never been anywhere, and I've never heard multiple languages spoken in one day. I'm pretty uh, sheltered as far as that goes. That's just life. No biggie. Bit disconcerting. More English, please. Good for business. Global economy, here we come. Music to my ears. I'm not one of those people that's bugged by someone speaking a different language. I do feel like if any country's language is you know, stated as their primary language, you should put some effort into learning the language. However, I also, I want people to feel welcome, so I don't, no judgment if you can't speak English. Which class of Americans do you feel is getting the short end of the sticks these days? Oh, easily, easily, I would say, man, every, the first three, the poor, absolutely. Minorities, absolutely getting the short end of the stick. And the middle class, I think, is getting more and more stuck. Job creators or the extreme wealthy uh, yeah, you're not getting the short end of the stick. Minorities, eh, middle class, minorities, poor. I'm going to go middle class because that's what I am. Uh, what's your favorite moment from the movie Independence Day? Will Smith punching an alien in the face. The stirring speech given by the president before he jumps into a fighter jet. The dog fight with aliens. The rest of the world waiting for the USA to organize the counterattack. I'm not familiar with that film. <laughs> no, I'm familiar. I know that film. Uh, the stirring speech by the president. You know, I don't know if our presidents nowadays would get in a plane, but I know back in the 90s our president did, and they filmed it for the alien invasion. It was amazing. I was alive then. I was like, four, get your result. Okay, so what you just missed was a really long process of getting my email, asking me some questions, giving me ads, and advertising to me, then forcing me to subscribe to their newsletter to get my answer that I'm 100% American and neighbor friendly. So if you're gonna take this quiz, I recommend the BuzzFeed one, otherwise you gotta go through a bunch of annoying loops to get it. God bless America, God bless the USA, and God bless you for watching this video so long. As always, take it easy. Oh, and happy 4th of July!